Aladdin toaster is new for 2021. What has changed from the old 2018 Aladdin toaster? I will tell you the difference. Hello, everyone. I'm Misuzu. This is the second toaster comparison video. Last time I posted a comparison video of Aladdin toaster and Balmuda toaster in 2020, so I'll put a link in the summary column here. This time, it is a new and old comparison of Aladdin's four-piece toaster graphite grill and toaster. In 2021, a new four-slice toaster, graphite grill and toaster flagship model was born. Actually, this is the winning item of the monitor gift plan. There was a monitor gift project for Aladdin products on Instagram, so I applied for it and thankfully I won. That said, I do like the old Aladdin graphite grill and toaster. The inside is already quite dirty, but I am very satisfied because it can heat up quickly and cook at high temperatures in a short time. So, I thought that this old model would be enough. However, when I tried using this new toaster, it was quite evolved from the old toaster. I was very surprised by the evolution. So this time, although it is not a project, I will tell you about the differences I compared between the old and new graphite grills and toasters. These two models are compared here. 2018 AGTG13A and 2021 CATGP14A compare here. CATGP14A and AETGP14A are the same. The difference is the accessories. The top is the old toaster, and the bottom is the new toaster. Both come with shallow or deep grill pans and grilled net. The new toaster also comes with an aluminum rice cooker and lid, as well as a measuring cup. Older toasters are still available today. And the old toaster is my favorite easy to use toaster that I have been using. This is also highly recommended. So I hope this video will be helpful for those who are considering which one to buy. In this video, the 2018 AGTG 13A is called the Old Toaster, and the 2021 CATG P 14A is called the New Toaster. In conclusion, there are four differences. I will introduce four good points and four points that I think are not good enough. The first good point, it's easier to make delicious toast. Second. There is a variety of cook menu courses. Third, the size of the main body is slightly larger. And the fourth, even though it is a toaster, you can cook rice deliciously. Then, next, the point that it is not good enough. The first, bigger and heavier. Second, there are a lot of accessories and it is a little difficult to store. Third, there are too many functions, and it may not be necessary for those who only bake toast. Fourth last, the price has really gone up, there is a difference of 17,000 yen in the price of the official website. I will look at the good points and the bad points in order, but before that, what kind of toaster is the Aladdin toaster in the first place? I think there are some people who thought. Here I will briefly explain the Aladdin toaster. The Aladdin Graffiti Grill and Toaster is a toaster that makes the finest toast on busy mornings. There are two models. 2 ply and 4 ply. The 4 piece grill has a large interior and is easy to use for cooking. The biggest feature of the Aladdin toaster is that it is equipped with a far infrared graphite heater that heats up in just 0.2 seconds. Aladdin is a manufacturer of heaters, gas stoves, cassette stoves, etc. So the technology is also used in this toaster. The toast baked with such an Aladdin toaster is expressed as Aladdin baked on the official website. By baking it in a high temperature oven at once, the toast becomes crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. By slightly toasting the bottom side of the bread compared to the top side, you can enjoy the gap between the crispness on the outside and the fluffy on the inside. The heater is one graphite heater on the top. There are three silica glass tube heater underneath. These are the same for both old and new toasters. Let's take a look at the pros and cons in turn. The first good point, delicious toast has become easier to make. The new toaster is equipped with a microcomputer control and a temperature sensor. 
while maintaining the Aladdin toaster's characteristics of high temperature and short time baking with far infrared graphite. This allows the toaster to automatically calculate the optimal baking time. Older toasters required you to set the temperature and baking time by twisting knobs. In the new toaster, we only set the browning color. The baking color can be adjusted in 5 stages, which means that even if you bake repeatedly or change the number of breads, the bread will be baked in the same condition. In addition, the new toaster has a steam vent on the top of the main unit and inside the cabinet. This allows the heat generating moisture to escape, controlling the temperature inside the toaster. Furthermore, by installing packing on the door, the temperature inside the chamber is efficiently raised without escaping to the outside. I actually compared it by baking. In the new toaster, bake on course 3, the baking time was displayed as 2 minutes and 20 seconds, then toast the same bread for the same amount of time in an old toaster. However, with old style toasters where you set the time by turning a knob, you can't set the delicate time of 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Also, the new toaster can reduce the remaining time while cooking. This is because the temperature sensor detects the temperature inside the toaster and automatically sets the optimal heating time. Therefore, please note that they are not baked at the same set temperature for exactly the same time. Just to be sure, I will try baking different bread on another day, so I will introduce it later. Well, when I baked it at the same time, I noticed that the sound of the new toaster is quiet. Since the BGM is turned off, please listen and compare the sounds. Here is the old toaster. And these are the new toasters. How was it? The new toaster is much quieter. This is a welcome change. The toast is ready now. Let's take it out while paying attention to the burns. First verification. Here is the toast from the old toaster. And this is the toast of the new toaster. This is what the back looks like. The old toaster has a nice brown color on the back side as well. Let's tear it apart. Here is the toast of the old toaster. And this is the toast of the new toaster. In the first verification, the bread in the new toaster was crispy around the edges and soft and moist inside. But the difference is not that big. It's just a little difference that you can notice when you eat and compare. As for the taste, I felt that there was not much difference. However, the new toaster automatically sets the temperature and time, so this is really quite convenient. And this is the second verification. The left is the toast of the old toaster. The right is the toast of the new toaster. This is what the back looks like. Both times, the baked color on the back was light. It may be because I used a thicker bread than the bread used for the first verification. Let's tear it apart. Here is the old toaster. And this is the toast of the new toaster. In the second verification, both felt exactly the same when touched. I'll try eat. First of all, from the old toaster. I will also eat the bread of the new toaster. I feel the same when I eat both. In the first verification, it was true that the new toaster felt more moist and fluffy, but in the second verification, it felt almost the same. Other than the fact that the temperature and time are automatically adjusted, I don't think there is much of a difference. The new toaster also has a frozen toast course. This means that even frozen thick sliced bread can be baked to the inside. 
I tried baking it several times, so I will introduce it in the next video. You can toast frozen bread even in an old style toaster. You just have to set the temperature and time yourself. Second good point. There are various cooking courses. The new toaster is equipped with 8 courses. Toast. Frozen toast. Warm up and oven. Grill. I made the mistake of burning the chicken. Simmer. Steam. Low temperature cooking, fermentation. And cooking rice. Rice is cooked in the attached rice cooker. These cooking is also possible with old toasters except for low temperature cooking. This is the recipe book that came with the old toaster. You can use the grill pan that comes with the old toaster to cook rice or steam chicken, and you can make simmered dishes. The difference is that older toasters let you set the temperature yourself. Please take a look at the table that summarizes the differences between the old and new toasters. The setting time is 100 to 280 degrees for the old toaster, and 40 to 320 degrees for the new toaster. This makes it possible to cook at low temperatures, such as fermentation of bread dough and low temperature cooking of chicken. In addition, the top rises to 320 degrees, so you can grill at high temperatures. The depth inside the toaster has been reduced by 7 mm, but the height has increased by 17 mm. It's a small difference, but this made it possible to cook small whole chickens. This is the third good point. It's nice to be able to toast a whole chicken in a toaster. The included grill pan is also larger for easier cooking. The grill pan of the new toaster is enamel processed, making it resistant to heat and retaining heat. And it became a deep type, making it possible to cook food for 3 to 4 family members at once. This is a net comparison. In the old model, it was a grill net, but in the new toaster it became a draining board. Both are set in the grill pan and used. You can put water in the grill pan, put a net in it, and steam it. You can put ingredients on top to reheat fried food or make non-fried chicken. The older model differs in that you set the temperature yourself. There is also a change in the shallow grill pan. The old toaster had a corrugated shape, and it was processed so that the oil would fall off when cooking. The new toaster has a flat grill pan. And the fourth good point. This toaster cooks rice deliciously. It's a nice feature that the rice is delicious even though it's a toaster. The new toaster comes with a dedicated rice cooker. This pot is made of aluminum. Good heat transfer and quick cooking. You can cook delicious rice with firmness and sweetness. I was able to cook delicious rice with this method. In the next video, I will also introduce rice together with other cooking courses. In addition, this pot is very light. It's made of aluminum, so it's lighter and easier to handle than steel, which is a nice point. Please note that it cannot be used on a gas stove. In addition, there is no function of keeping warm only for cooking rice. This can cook up to 2 cups of rice. Cooking time is about 30 minutes for 360 milliliters. If you want to cook rice with an old toaster, use a grill pan. 400 milliliters of water for 360 milliliters of rice. In the case of 180 milliliters, it is half that. Cook for 15 minutes at 280 degrees. This is a summary of the cooking part. Whether it's an old toaster or a new toaster, Rice cooking can be up to 360 milliliters of raw rice. The rice cooking time is 15 minutes shorter with the old model toaster. The rice cooking time of the new toaster is about 28 minutes in the case of one go. 30 minutes for two go. The new toaster uses an aluminum rice cooker that allows you to cook delicious rice with a firmness and sweetness similar to that cooked in an earthenware pot. Finally, let's look at other differences. The cord of the new toaster is 0.2 meters longer. It's a subtle difference, but it might be easier to use. And the microcomputer control that automatically calculates the cooking time is not in the old toaster. It is a function only for the new toaster. So far, I have introduced the good points. Next, I will introduce four points that are a little unsatisfactory. The first one, body size is large and heavy. Width. Depth and height are one size larger. 
The weight difference is 2 kilograms. If you compare them, they are quite large. In our house, I was able to put the new toaster where we had put the toaster until now. In addition, the installation should be 50 cm above, 10 cm behind, 10 cm on the side, and one side should be open. The installation location of the old model toaster is like this. As a result, I cannot find a place to use it in our home, so we take it out of the shelf and put it on the floor every time I use it. The old toaster is also quite large as a toaster. Since this has become even larger, it can be said that the old toaster is easier to use in this regard. And the second bad point. It is difficult to store because there are many accessories, large grill pan and rice cooker. It would be nice to be able to store these compactly. For old toasters, dedicated racks are sold separately. Available in three colors, black, gray and white. The official website price is 10,800 yen including tax. Prices are as of November 2022. The grill pan can be stored on top, and the feet are equipped with adjusters. This product has just been released in November 2022. I hope that the new toaster rack will be released in the same way. And the third bad point. The feature of the new toaster is that it has many functions, but it may be too many functions for those who only make toast. For example, if you have an oven and use a rice cooker to cook rice, the benefits of the new toaster are limited to low temperature cooking and fermentation of bread dough. And the fourth point that is not good at the end. The price has gone up a lot. The old model toaster is 22,000 yen including tax at the official website price. I think this is quite expensive. The new toaster is even higher, 39,000 yen including tax. Both prices are as of November 2022. This may be a reasonable price because it can be used not only as a toaster, but also as an oven, a rice cooker, a low temperature rice cooker, a yogurt maker, etc. One point to note, always use the included grill pan when using cooking menus such as oven functions, high temperature grilling, and simmering. When baking a sponge cake, put the cake mold in the grill pan and bake. For this reason, depending on the menu, I think the oven may be easier to use. This time, I told you about the comparison between the old and new graphite grill and toaster. The size of the main unit has increased, and the number of accessories has increased, making it difficult to store. What I like is that delicious toast has become easier to bake. The sound is also quiet. I also really like the fact that it can be used for multiple functions, such as low temperature cooking and rice cooking. I tried various cooking functions of the new toaster. The video is getting long, so I'll tell you all about it in the next video. This toaster can be used for a variety of purposes, such as warming meat buns, fermenting bread dough, and making curry with a toaster. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day, today. See you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for always enjoying the video. This channel shows recipes without sugar. Please don't forget to like the video. And subscribe to my channel. I recipes are written on my blog. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and so on are also playing. Then, let's the next video again.